Moment of truth. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna test the wooden tank's amphibious capabilities. To do that, uh, we're gonna do it remotely because I did the calculations if I were to be in it and since I weigh 250 pounds, it would be up to here and I really don't want the tank to sink to the bottom of any body of water. So I would probably cry. That would not be a fun video. So we're gonna remote control it via this, which has a range of 100 feet. We're not gonna let the tank get that far away anyway. What we're gonna do is build a top to, so that nothing spills into it. It'll have an access port in the middle to turn the, the power on and off. The main parts that may leak, of course, are the, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see that, the shafts that drive the motors or drive the wheels, the tracks. There's only actually two points where the, the bearings go through and the shafts go through, which they've all, I've used lithium grease on them. I think they're gonna leak a little bit, but I think we're gonna be able to get enough runtime to see how it works and maybe it'll be fun. So first things first, gotta build the top. So let's get to it. Get the lid, I'm gonna install it. That was great. I've already broken the lid. Yeah, that's fine. As you can see, the seams are not perfect, but the entire point of this is to, to stop the majority of the water going in. No large amount of water is gonna flow through these cracks, <laughs> I hope. Uh, maybe through here, this is not, I mean, I could test it. I don't really wanna put a hose over it. I think it's fine. Uh, not, not that much water should really be coming on top anyway. I may tape these or something. I'm gonna tape it up because uh, just to be extra careful. All right, we're here. We're about to sacrifice the tank to the water gods. I hope it swims, or I hope it floats. It's not gonna swim. I'm gonna get out in the water and then uh, I'm gonna drive it straight towards me. And <laughs> let's hope for the best. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh no, it's too back heavy, or front heavy. Oh 
Oh. <laughs> it is not working. Well, it doesn't really do it. Okay. Kind of. That was a ton of water. Eh, man. Oh, that's kind of wet. It's a tank. It's a wooden tank. But it doesn't seem to actually paddle itself. Well, we can go in the shallow area. Yeah. I don't think it worked. <laughs> it's not, I think, it, is it still? How much water got it? No, it's not too bad. Uh, oh, are you recording on the GoPro? Or... Both. Oh, okay. It's all right, it's, I mean, this must be a lot of work for it because it's losing power. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about the fact that the, the front way too buoyant, or way too heavy. <laughs> it's not too bad. There's water in the front. <laughs> well, maybe those people can see it that well. Definitely wet on the outside, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call it. We're not gonna be able to get it back up. Oh well, it kind of worked. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I want to skid turn. So was that a success or a fail? You guys tell me. And the in there, when the tank started going slower and slower, and I thought it was the speed controllers, it was actually the tracks, the water was getting into the wood, expanding them and causing them to, you know, rub against each other. It was very difficult to get it back onto the truck because it kept getting worse and worse. But uh, I got it back to the shop and it dried out and the tank is now fine. So this is something I'm building for another video, but uh, if you guys can guess what it is. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.